Hi everybody, there's a, something a little bit different on the channel for this video. I've received a pair of night vision binoculars. It's from a company called Dasoon. I don't know if you can see the name on there. D-S-O-O-N. And this model is the NV3182. So what I'm going to do is it's still in its cellophane wrapper and everything. I'm going to get them out of the wrapper, have a look at them and see what they're all about. You can see here that they are really well packaged. A very, very sturdy box that they've turned up in, which is always a good thing. So, that's the cellophane off. Let's take a look in the box. Right, so opening it up, we're greeted with a nice little carry case, a zipper on there, It'll come in really handy when you're out in the field. Let's pull this out, so you can strap that over your shoulder if you're carrying them around. Definitely come in handy. There's a little lens cleaner there an instruction manual, which looks very substantial to be honest. It's in several different languages. You've got English, German, French, Spanish, Italian. Yeah, that's the, the languages that this has come in. So it looks very, very substantial. 134 pages in total. Obviously that's including the five languages that I've just mentioned. So put that to one side. What I want to do in this video is I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna ignore the instruction manual because I want to see how easy these are to use straight out of the box, as well as what do they feel like, the aesthetics to them and etc. So here we've got a data cable which we'll plug that in a little later in the video to get the information off it. Looking down the side of a bo the box, this is a lovely little touch. We've got a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which will capture the footage on that. That's excellent. Right, to the unit itself, there's nothing else in the box there. I'll just pop that to one side, take these out. So, whoops, what do we have tucked away inside there? Let's just open this. Right, so here, it looks like we have a lanyard, which, simple clip, that will go on there. Make sure that's straight. This goes on the other side. On the little screen inside there, you've got a little cover, just a little picture of a, a lake and mountains to protect the screen. So this is fully adjustable by the looks of it. You can make it any length you want. Again, that's quite a nice touch for when you're out in the field. If you're stood with the guns on the bipods, spot where you need to spot, put it down straight on it. First feel for these, it feels pretty good. It's like a, it's a plastic outer casing that it's made from, but it, it doesn't feel plastic yet. It, it, it's got a nice textured grip to it. So I should imagine when they, because these are IP rated waterproof wise, uh, I should imagine if they didn't have that on, they'd be quite slippy when you're using it. So that is a nice little touch again. The buttons feels pretty good touch wise in the right position for your fingers. As you're looking through, you've got the 
It's got built-in IR, the infrared, which is this button here. You have what looks like, well, that's the IR up and the IR down it's on the box. It actually states that there is seven different grades of IR for the brightness. So dependent on distance you're looking, obviously, if you're closer to you, you can turn that down. Further away, pop it up. The on off button is in the middle here. Menu button in the middle at the top end. Mode button and shot. So I'm guessing mode button, because you can actually record footage on this or take still pictures, that's what that one's for. And the shot button will be to take it. I'm guessing, I'm not reading the instructions. So from that, uh, you have a connection here, a female threaded connection for possibly sitting these on a bipod while you're out in the field. Again, that is another nice touch. Uh, it's saying that it's recommended to use brand new alkaline batteries. Do not use rechargeable batteries or non-AA batteries. It will cause boot failure. Make sure the direction of SD card is right. Never insert the card forcibly. Please format the SD card or it will affect the compatib compatibility of micro SD card. So do not use rechargeable batteries. Right, so I fitted some batteries into it. It takes six AA batteries, uh, obviously three either side. As you can see, there's a little ribbon to tuck in so you can get them out quite easily. Uh, it snaps shut either side, so they're nice and secure. And then here, this little rubber section here peels out where you can fit the micro SD card and you've got the micro USB connection for taking data off if you want. Just took that back in. At the front here, this part of the binocular, it's written on it far and near. I don't know if you can see that. So when you're actually looking through the binocular, you'll turn this to focus what you're looking at through the viewfinder. If it's near, you turn it that way, far, turn it to the left. Now, to turn it on, it's just this button here in the middle, the, the bottom center button. So I'll turn it on. I have already formatted the SD card in this, so it'll not ask me to do that again. But from here, it's, just, it's relatively simple to use, to be honest. We have the mode button here, which will allow you to toggle through whether you're gonna use it in video mode, uh, photograph, just take a standard still picture, or uh, the last one is where you can actually play back what you've got, look at your pictures, look at your videos. So what I'll do now is I'll click on the menu button, the center one, and here you can start customizing it as to exactly what you want. So to toggle through these, if I use this button here, it brings me down and then you press the, the shot button. It'll take me into whatever I've highlighted on the previous screen. Press the shot button again and it takes you back. Night vision sensitivity, again, press the shot button. You can pick high, middle or low. Whichever one you choose, just press the, the shot button and it takes you back. The power save, this is where it will automatically shut down. So press the shot button again. If it's inactive for three minutes, it'll turn off five, 10, or off is off. So I'll leave it on three minutes. And then you've got date and time where you can set it up. Date stamp, you can choose in this one whether you want the date and time showing on any videos or photos, just the date or whether you turn it off. So I always prefer to have the date and time on there. Language, obviously I'll leave that in English. Format, that will 
format the SD card that's in there, or you can choose reset all. So everything will go back to factory settings. This one here is the actual firmware. And then if I press the menu button again, it goes off. Now, once you've set it up how you want it, obviously you're gonna to want to start using it. So if we, I've actually left it set in the video mode. So now if I just press this shot button on the screen, you'll see a red dot appear at the top flashing. The date and the time comes on at the bottom. The bottom left hand side, you can see the battery telling you how much power's left. And then as I'm looking in here, if I want to zoom in, I can press this button here and you'll see on the right hand side of the screen, the little green bar moving up as I zoom in. So I'm pressing this button here and holding it down. And then if I want to zoom back again, you press the bottom button and it just comes all the way down to the Okay, so you can now see the grass in my back garden in day mode. Uh, if I then press this far button, left button here, you'll see it change to grayscale. Now that's in night mode. And you'll also hopefully be able to notice like that you will, just above where the battery sign is, you can see where it's like a light bulb and a number one. If I then press that four button again, you'll see it change to number two. Press it again, number three, so on and so forth, all the way up to number seven. Now that's the different strengths of IR. And if I press this bottom button, you'll see it's coming all the way back down to one, and then if I press it again, it turns the night mode off and puts it back into day mode. So very simple to switch between the two. So I usually wear glasses and if I'm shooting the rifles, looking through the scopes, the pod, I tend to take them off because I can adjust the ocular lens on that to suit my eyes anyway. But just to show you on this, around the eyepiece, the viewfinder, you've got a rim all the way around to keep your head away from the glass. It's ergonomically shaped, so it's you can see the curve on there for your forehead to sit in. And then also it's further in here, which allows the bridge of your nose to come close to it. But if I try and look through it with my glasses on, it will interfere with glasses but again if you take them off and you you use the uh, ocular focus it doesn't really matter just keep your glasses off zoom in using the left and right whether you're near and far and you should be okay uh, so I think I've gone through everything there is to go through now to be honest the final thing to do is get these out in the field and let's see how they perform in the daytime and at night. So I'll be back soon. So a little bit of daytime shooting. Uh, the first clips you'll see are using the Dassun night vision binoculars, obviously in day mode. Uh, and then it'll be followed up by the actual shot on the target species. These shots are all taken between 25 and 30 yards. As you can see here, the images during the daytime are really clear when you take the time to use the front focus. It's a really good piece of kit. If you're interested in purchasing a pair of these night vision binoculars, then 
you'll get a 20% discount if you use the discount code Vermin Hunters. I'll put a link in the description to get them and also links within this video you'll have probably seen popping up every now and again. As we were waiting for it to go dark, this hare decided to make an appearance at about 40 yards and gradually run away from us. This clip shows a fox that's about 100 yards away. Uh, it's not very clear because I was still getting used to uh, focusing it in. Uh, the videos will gradually get better. You'll see another IR light start shining. That's from the trail cam that we set up that's watching the feed pipe. But unfortunately on this occasion the fox got spooked and it ran. Here's a short clip of a badger. It decided to come within about 80 yards of us. And this clip is of a rabbit, which is round about 130 yards away. These last clips of rats are roughly 25, 30 yards away. The clarity of the picture is really good, but if you don't remember to use the ocular focus at the front, if you zoom in, it will go really blurry. So to sum up, this bit of kit is it's really easy to use, very simple, without reading the instruction manual. The battery life is excellent. Put six brand new batteries in i've used it for at least four hours and it's still on three bars so if you like what you see if you follow the links that i've put in the video uh, to the website use the discount code vermin hunters for 20 percent off uh, please feel free to do so thanks for watching paul and steve